25 years ago, I was living in Baton Rouge, down the street from the chemical part of Exxon. I was coming back to check on the house after yet another explosion. Walking from the car to the front door, my daughter was uncovered. She was about six or seven months old, so her skin was fragile. After an hour, she had spots all over her body. My husband and I took her to the hospital, and I explained to the doctor where we lived and what had happened. He told me, well, we can't treat her because we don't want to put Exxon in the paperwork. He said he didn't want to be involved in a lawsuit. I said, I don't care, just treat her. They took blood, they tested her, but they couldn't find out what was wrong. Exxon blows all the time, especially on weekends. That's when the EPA and the Department of Environmental Quality are closed, so the plant goes unregulated. Me, my daughter, and both my grandsons have sinus issues. A lot of adults and the children in the neighborhood have contracted breathing problems from being so close to the plant. Many don't have health insurance, so they don't know what to do. Lots of times, I have to send my daughter with my grandsons to their other grandma's house about 15 miles across town. Even that distance make a difference. The older doesn't go that far. Every time I call Exxon to ask, what happened? Did you guys blow or something? They just say, well, we'll call you back, but nothing happens. Then I call EPA. Nothing happens. Then I call DEQ. Nothing happens. You would think they would never have built those plants right next to our homes. <laughs>